So I just got this package in the mail and I'm very excited to open this thing up. Originally, I was gonna break everything down and show you guys what's going on, but I was like, we gotta make a video right now so I can break these shoes down for you guys as we go. And then I'm gonna tell you guys the stories and the meanings as to why I got these and when I got them, if I got rid of them, all the different things, adding these back to my collection. So shout out to Soul Steels because they are the ones that I got the shoes from. Uh, there should be like, four pairs of shoes in here yeah i'm not mistaken there's four pairs of shoes in here so we got one box right here dusty old good memories right here we got another box right here old one good mem. oh my god <laughs> crazy times okay another one right here what we got oh if you know you know just look at the tag Actually, I can't show you the tag because I'm going to show you guys the shoes in a second. But I'm excited because these ones, I never owned. I've, they've been offered to me so many different times over the past couple of years. And this one, I've never had these in my size. It's a pair of Jordan 1s. If you've been following the channel, you know. If you know, you know. This is one of them situations. So, uh... I don't want to be over here for too long because I know wifey's arms is getting sore already. So do you want to pick which one I shall open and show them what I got first? Or how should we do this real quick? I, I'm going to show them one shoe and I'll, you know, go back up to the studio and break it all down for them. What you thinking? I think let's go with the old school. This one? Yep. Okay. On oh man, you're saving the heat for last then. Okay. These two boxes in particular very very expensive these two really good really 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 good so okay right here face box this era i had these for a long time i've had multiple pairs actually i just got rid of my worn pair like a week ago because i had these ones coming in the mail and oh, this is so nice air jordan 4 retro white varsity red black face box size 13 just for me oh yeah by the way if you didn't know by now my name is dj and this is the DNA show. Okay, back to the video. Here we go. Ah, the laser force. Oh my gosh. This is a beautiful sneaker. I'm excited to show you guys all the details. This pair has been worn. This pair has been worn, and that's why I'm excited about it because I think I still got some life in it. The, the bubble's not even fogging too crazy. Ah, this man, this is way nicer than my pair that I just got rid of. My pair was kind of cooked i think i might have a picture of them but uh okay let's get up to the studio and uh i'm gonna show you guys the rest of this stuff unbox this give you guys some details of these give you a little bit of history because if you don't know oh you need to know so let's go ahead and get up there all right y'all last night we ended up watching penguin and uh eating dinner so <laughs> i'm back on it today for the video but either way we got the laser air jordan fourth i showed you guys earlier here's a couple in hand shots and some detailed looks of the shoe so let me give you guys a quick backstory like i said i had a pair that was cooked but i also had a dead stock pair and i had a worn pair this was when i was in high school i had the dead stock pair and i had a worn pair at the end of high school that I was wearing and then I was going into college and I wore those and then I ended up getting rid of those, keeping my dead stock pair. Then when it was time to sell some shoes to get my first house, maybe it was the second house, I ended up getting rid of my dead stock pair and then I found another worn pair years later which I was wearing and the paint just started cracking but they were still wear wearable um, and they looked way worse than these. So because I found out I was getting these, I got rid of the other pair. Uh, I think I popped up the picture earlier for you guys. And now, today, I have this pair right here. So again, very excited to have these in my collection. Size 13, looking forward to rocking these. I'm glad that they're already worn. When it comes to sneakers like this, with time, you need the shoes to be worn. Otherwise, if it's dead stock and it's, because what year did these come out? I remember these dropped when I was in high school. I wanna say 2005, 2004. Yeah, see, 2005. So from 2005 to now, you know what I'm saying? It's been a while. So. 20 years since this shoe dropped and that's crazy to think <laughs> i've been collecting shoes for a long time okay next up right here i'm just going off of whatever is next okay air jordan one this is a sneaker that i have never okay i'll take that back i've never owned in my size i've owned the shoe but not in my size and not even close enough to wear not even, you know how sometimes you're like, oh, I get a 12, I can squeeze it just for a little bit, sell it, and then find my size. Ah, nah, I had smaller sizes. So 
I'm so excited to finally add these. And I was being patient because the prices were crazy at one point and now they came back down. And again, some people might say the prices are crazy, but to me, very solid prices these days, sitting around the 2000 mark. And that is the Fragment Air Jordan 1, the original high top colorway. This is not the friends and family with the black on the back, but this is still the regular release. And again, very excited. I have the Travis Fragment low tops. I have the Travis Fragment high tops. I have the Fragment Air Jordan 3s. I've had action at the other Fragment Air Jordan 3s, which may or may not be able to add those in my collection sometime soon, which we can talk about later. But either way, this one in particular, very excited to have in the collection. It's been a long time coming. When did this, what was this, 2014 or something like that? It was a while ago when these dropped. Yeah, 2014 on these. So 10 years later, and now I finally got the shoe. And yes, you can just go out and cash out and do all those things. But again, for me, I just love the hunt. I love trading. I love finding good deals. I love making it make sense. I'm willing to wait. If I have the shoe then, or if I have the shoe now, or if I have the shoe later, it's still going to be the same shoe. Again, yes, wearability. There's our factors to that. But when it comes to an Air Jordan 1 in particular, these things are like tanks. And that's why I was willing to wait. Got them for a great deal. Again, shout out to Soul Stills. I appreciate you guys as always. So very excited about these if you guys want to see a full in-depth review i might have done one on the channel with the other pair but if not i can give you guys a review maybe rank the travis or rank the fragments that i have in my collection or something like that if you guys got any suggestions for these i would love to talk about these more so this is fun I'm, i've made a bunch of different youtube videos in the past of going to different sneaker cons and trying to find the shoe and trying to find my size and I just couldn't never do it and then I found a pair and then it was kind of beat and it wanted too much and all the different scenarios and we come to this pair today a dead stock pair and now I'm like what am I gonna wear these with I gotta figure it out I don't know I might have to pull these out for my birthday or something but again very very excited and this is a shoe I wouldn't mind doubling up on so if I can come across the second pair don't be surprised if you see me adding those to my collection as well great shoe and yeah i don't i don't see myself getting rid of these <laughs> maybe ever like <laughs> i'm so happy i finally have these this is like up there you know with my mount rushmore of air jordan ones at least in my top 10 i don't know i don't know if i could say top five but for sure top 10 and you know it's a great shoe i think these are dope on to the next shoe right here this one is a air jordan 4 you got the gray box era the silver box era we all like to call it two different things but this was a great time this was again high school memories having this shoe back in the day rocking this so many different times having a dead stock pair as well i think I've, I, this is probably my fourth pair of this shoe in my third or my fourth i have to think about it uh for a minute but uh i haven't had a pair since 2017 or 2018 so it's been a while um since i've had these in my collection but again since they dropped to then i had them for a long time so with all that being said air jordan 4 retro ls white tour yellow dark oof. i don't even need to say anymore you guys already know what it is just slice off of that Mm, the tour fours now you guys remember the era of the undefeateds in the rare air and we're starting to actually see this come back now with the new fours that are supposed to set to release next year but you got the velcro patch rare air on there i might have an old instagram post of me rocking one of my pairs from back in the day but this is a shoe that again very very excited that this is actually a worn pair very lightly worn the bubbles don't look too fogged the nets aren't too yellow those are a lot of key things when it comes to looking for a sneaker like this to be able to actually continue to rock and have it in your collection in your rotation or pull it out every now and then whatever it may be you want that foam on the side to be activated over the years and you want to make sure that you can still wear them over time and there's not separation around the front end or around the toe or anything like that so all these different signs speak yes this is a great cop this is a great addition to the collection to bring these back if they were to retro this shoe would i be happy about it i would say yes but at the same time i, I like when shoes just stay in their era stay in their moment let them be those memories let those be those times and you know have that shoe be that and create a new memory we're seeing the new 
two rare air air jordan 4 different colorway i like that and hopefully that shoe doesn't retro and then they create another one with a new colorway and a new storyline or whatever it may be i like those elements to this so for me i have a ton of memories because like i said high school days uh what was this yeah 2006 this is prime time me coming into high school you guys remember all the shoes that were dropping back then with the grapes and the fire reds and the aquas and the, and the tours and the, the lightning and the thunder pack and the, the laser pack and you know what i'm saying the uh the levi pack and the bmps and the and the dmps and the cdps and the, you know what i'm saying it was just a lot of great stuff to do the right things and it was just a lot of great stuff coming out during this time the military fours you name it fire reds dropped with the mars blackman on there i have a pair I still got my Mars Blackman 4s, they're over here. Uh, but yeah, for me, I was very ecstatic when I saw these because again, very affordable sneaker, great memories for myself. And yeah, I just had a fun time rocking this shoe. So the reason why I ended up getting rid of my pair was again, I'm trying to make bigger, bigger and smarter investments. But then the other part was my pair started to yellow a little bit more on the nets. And then I was getting not crumbling or anything like that, but the paint and everything was showing signs of just rougher aging. And I'm like, this is my time to let these go. Let somebody else decide if they want to, you know, continue to rock them until they fall apart or, or if they want to, you know, restore them or whatever they want to do. But I knew for me, my time was up. And now to see this pair again, I'm very excited to be able to rock these. And that's the dope thing about these sneakers. Not every single shoe falls apart at the same time. Yes, all the shoes may fall apart, whatever it may be, but we have great restoration people now these days compared to back then, 20 years ago, 10 years ago, uh, even five years ago, there has been so many improvements in the restoration game alone so i'm excited about these glad to add them back in the collection the this the subtle touch of the gray tongue on the back end too was just like something that i had always loved about these with the gray hits and then even here with the leather tab and we saw that again on the laser pack and different things like that so very very exciting uh speaking of that i have another one from way back in the day that i think i showed you guys earlier but we're talking about laser pack this is just a different sample right here. You guys might have saw this in a previous video recently, but I like these shoes from this era to say the least. And I got some other stuff uh, from back in the day that you guys might like. I need to just keep pulling shoes out and telling stories and copping stuff and doing these things for you guys. Uh, okay, last but not least, here we go. Oh, and before we get into this last one, like I said, I got these from Soul Stills. If you guys don't know, the link is down below in the description. I'll also have it pinned in the comment section for you guys. Hit that link, get signed up, join the community. It's, well, not really a community, but it's more of a membership. And it's like 20 bucks a month. I've been using them for plenty of years. I've gotten a ton of different shoes, great deals. I've done trades, I've done all different types of stuff. They got mystery boxes. They got special shock drops throughout the week. They do $100 deals. They do $200 deals. They do retail drops. They do so many different things. Sunday, every, uh, every Sunday they got a drop at three o'clock uh, Pacific Standard Time. You guys have heard me talk about them multiple times. So again, if you guys wanna check it out, check out Soul Stills, link down below, link in the description. Now, last but not least, my favorites. Mm, actually, hmm. Yeah, let's say it's my favorite. This might be my favorite pickup, cause I don't know. I got so many memories of all this shit. I think that's maybe, again, I don't have too many memories with the fragments, but I think that's why this might be my favorite because I've had my hunt for the fragments for so many years. And these ones, I've only been able to hunt for a couple years because they only came out a couple years ago. And y'all know I love sixes. So here we have Air Jordan 6 Retro, UCLA PE. Ah, let's get into it. Okay. Bang. These things are so clean. You got the UCLA blue on the top, you know, with that distressed look. And then you're gonna have the same thing with the materials here. And you got the suede with the chenille right there with the 23. The other one has the Jumpman, the UCLA branding on the pull tab and on the back. And then we know all the Air Jordan 6s besides the Howard 6s from this pack, very similar, just the school colors, same materials, same color blocking, same everything. And then on the inside of the sock liner, you're gonna have all yellow right there. Now I'm excited to give you guys an in-depth review of this shoe, talk about the previous releases as well, that we had the 23s, the ones, and the cleats, the threes. Oh my gosh, those are so clean. So this shoe, might be one of my favorites out of the bunch from this four but all four honestly 
I love them all. I have different reasons why I want them back in my collection or to be in my collection now or whatever the reasoning is. So those are my four pickups. I was excited to show you guys these. You guys saw some in-hand looks. If you guys wanna see any in-depth reviews or comparisons with other models and colors, let me know. I have the black laser fours. I have other sample laser fours. I have the tour yellow. I got the lightning and thunders and all the different stuff like that. So let me know what you guys wanna see down below in the comment section and which one was your favorite pickup for me out of these four. I would love to hear it down below. And I'll see you guys in another one. I got a ton more reviews and comparisons we got a ranking video coming up very very soon as well we got some other ranking videos some more stuff so see you guys in another one hit the subscribe button all right y'all i'm out i would never let you down and send my dna hey, hey, the hey, only bro. choice i like to make what i'm aware today i would never let you down and send my dna